Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to a quick little video. What I wanted to do is I wanted to do a video on, because a lot of people ask for this, and I'm just noticing no one's really answered it. Um, it's how to transfer, for example, a ship or a building from one save file to the other. Basically, so for example, if you're playing on a map, you have everything, uh, you got a ship that has everything on it, and you basically strip all the islands of everything, you want to start a new save, but you really don't want to start from scratch. Or you had a save and you build up a ton of stuff, a patch comes out, which breaks your save, for example. What could you do? Well, first things first, um, usually what I'll do is I'll do it in this order. I already set up a new game, so I'm going to hit continue here just to show you. I got my gentleman here just standing on the beach. Now, a couple things I decided. Number one, I did a lot of work on one of my last saves, and I decided, you know what? I really, 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 really want to uh, transfer over um, a boat or a house. In this case, we're going to go with a house. So we're going to go into our editor here. And it'll start off by loading up a blank world. What you want to do first is actually load the original game you want to transfer the file from. So we're going to go into uh, File. We're going to go to Open games and obviously you'll be the name so the test world here is the one we're actually going to go into but right now we're going to go into uh, explore because this was this is going to be the file that we take our our objects from um so this is our current let's play world a um, couple things you need to know number one if you t if you open up the editor in a in a we'll say a save it's already on for example there will be the odd bug here and there possibly so just understand that with what you're going to transfer over um, sometimes they don't line up properly on the ground and stuff like that so it almost works like a random randomly generated building almost um, I've just noticed some of the time but what we're going to do is we're going to go run over to the other side of the island real quick I think our base is over here somewhere yeah there it is so we decided we did a lot of work on our base here um, our storage facility our ship is uh, all the way in the south down that way. We don't want to do that. We actually just want to We just want to take our house. We did a lot of work on the house um, We don't want to take all the all the stuff with us, right? We just want the house. So first thing I do is I make sure that everything's set to um, uh, No widget And I select the option or the the uh, the thing I want to bring with me. So first it's this house that's it. I don't want to cheat anything else in. I just want to build this house. So what I'm going to do, kind of center as best I can and highlight the area around the house. Now you'll probably get other things as well, like we got that tree or whatever, but no big deal. Right click on it. Duplicate. And what I usually do is I'll select my option and just move it all up. Just for now. And then we're going to right click it and save save composition create composition we're going to call it house h-o-u-s-e done so now we have our house we're immediately going to open a new file we're not going to save so we're going to say don't save we should now get a blank world now you can skip this all together, but I usually like opening this up just to make sure that I have what I want set up. And then we're gonna go to compositions, and here it is. Oh, house. So I'm gonna click it, and here is, you notice it automatically defaults it. Uh, I'm gonna make, I'm not too worried right now about it being on the ground, but there is our house. So now what I'll do is I'll usually click out, and I'll clean it up a little bit. Like I don't want all that, I don't want that things I don't need with this thing. Don't need that tree, obviously. We're going to highlight all this stuff here. We're going to delete all that. One thing you do need to know, uh, items for example, we're going to right click and I'm going to say, oh, what is it? Uh, is it double clicking the item? Yep. Click edit. All your stuff that was in the box will stay there. So if you're transferring, say, a ship from one save to another, everything inside the ship will stay there. That's in baskets and stuff like that. So we're going to highlight all that stuff. Same with the, the devices, like the equipment and stuff. Uh, we're going to highlight all this. No, actually we're not. We're going to highlight here and delete all that. 
I'm hoping later on that you can design this, buildings, what have you, so that when you tell it to say you know, use your random creations. So yeah, so once again we're just tidying it up a little bit just to make sure that it's all just blank. Now question is at this point, right? You can make the decision. Well, decision number one. Uh, we kind of did screw up a little bit. So we somehow along the way remove this vertical and this vertical, which is no big deal. We can quickly go into objects to kind of fix it up a little bit. Go to log. I think it was just a regular log. So I'm going to go here real quick. We're going to hit F and L. Oh, that's right. Can't do that. That's no big deal. We're going to highlight this whole thing. Say so we're going to move it, and now this should snap it for us to the world. Now, that's not a guaranteed work. Sometimes it'll still be a little off a little bit. So we're going to highlight it and just be like, hey, just want to make sure that it's set up properly. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, go right, go duplicate, remove this all the way to there. So now that matches that. This one, we're going to, well actually we don't even need to do it on that side, we can just do it on this side. Go duplicate and just fix up anything that we accidentally deleted at this point. Duplicate. If anyone's used Unity in their spare time, there you go. Uh, everything's fine over there. Everything's fine, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go click both of those. Zoom down, right click, duplicate, hit red, and move it toward this. And there we go. And there's the spawn point. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the building very slowly. I'm going to say I don't want that, don't want that, don't want that, because all this stuff is kind of cheaty. Um, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that, that, or that. I want just an empty building. Get rid of bed. Actually, that can stay. There we go. So now we have our basic item that we're moving from map uh, save game one to save game two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select it all, highlight it again, right click it, save composition, and we're going to click house again, and we're going to click done. And we're now going to delete it, go back into composition, and just select it again and paste it. There we go. Now we know it's been, it, it works. Make sure that it's all good to go. Perfect. We're going to delete it. Now we're going to go File, Open, Games, Test World. And we're going to click Open. So now this is the world where we're actually going to import our building into, which is pretty pretty simple. I like that middle, that, that middle step where you can take the building, kind of clean it up a little bit, um, you know, make it look good. Um, if you want to do any little changes to it, like maybe make it look run down, have it maybe missing a couple pieces, things like that. Now here is where the, the bug can occur. So first things first, where is my guy? There he is. Okay. Now this is where I'm going to tell you now the bug can occur. When you place the building down here, it may not be on the grid. So right now, if we were to grab anything, um, I need something here that let's go log. And I click log. You'll see here, right? It's on the um, the grid. If we go to compositions, we go to our house. You'll notice it's not on the grid by default. It won't default to the grid. So we're gonna have to remember that it won't default to the grid. Now, question is, where do we want to put this little building? Well, if we hit F, 
that theoretically is the grid right there, the one what I'm whatever I'm hitting F. So we're gonna put it just for now. We're actually gonna put it this little cabin somewhere that we know will be safe. So we're gonna put it right there. I'm just gonna right click out for a moment. Make sure that it's all it's all here. Okay. Alright, so the entire item's there. I'm now going to just click out real quick, clean up the area around it, and then place it back in again. But this time, we're going to place it, we're going to right click out, and then we're going to click the movement widget. What you want to do is tap each one of these once, the blue, the green, the red. That should, in theory, snap it to the grid. So now to make sure it's been snapped to the grid, this is the easiest thing to do. Now I go to objects, go to just everything, go to log, uh, pick a large log, and then just see if you can snap anything to the building directly. And I can. So there we go. So we now know that this is snapped to the grid it will work 100%. We now have a sh we now have a boat in there. In conjunction, we can also do the things let's say the exact same thing with ships. Uh, we can do the same thing with other people's cabins. You can also download these things on the internet if you want to. Um, some people have made their own stuff. So if we wanted to put a log cabin in here, we could put a log cabin right in here. Now, note that some of these places do have things like basements and stuff, so you got to be careful. The place where your mouse is, is where it's going to use the ground. That's always something to remember. The ground is always where the mouse is pointed. So if we wanted to put this log cap in here, for example, we had to use the highest location possible. Right, so there, something like that. Parts of it wouldn't be in the basement. But, that's how you do it. Simple, easy, not hard. Thanks for watching. Bye. Now you might have noticed that you thought the video ended there, but it doesn't because I forgot to mention something. So you'll notice that this is missing. So a couple of things that may happen. This is actually another one of the bugs I wanted to mention real quick, just in case. And actually, now nah, we'll just leave it. So sometimes what'll happen is if you go to file and just save, sometimes it will save a second version of your world underneath your primary world. So in this case, our new world, our test world. So we technically right now have two test world saves, one with this building and one without. Um, unfortunately, that's a bit of a bug. Now, here's the way around it real quick. Um, what you gotta do, well, first let's clear up the area where you're gonna put the house. It was kind of like that-ish. Uh, we're gonna go to compositions, we're gonna go to house, hit F just to make sure she's kind of where we want her to go. There we go, pick the diagonals, right click to get out of it. Hit the red ones, hit the green ones, swing around, and hit the blue ones. So now we're all good to go. I'm under the understanding. Yep, we're good, all right. So, that's good to go. This is what you should do. Make sure you do this so you do not get the bug I just mentioned. File. Save as. Here. Test. World. Save. Save it. Test world. Game has been saved. File. Quit the main menu. Save it again. You can never save too many times. I just wanted to throw this in at the end. Um, cause I was going to do a quick little extra video, but boom, that's that. Now we go to continue. We should now have test world right there. Boom, done. We're going to click on it. And when we look to our left, our house is there. Your boat will be there. Um, I believe you could transfer your player as well with all of your items and all that stuff on you as well. Um, though that I've had is kind of hit or miss, but it happens. You can do that too. And 
we load up and boom, there's our house. Done. Now, if we wanted to build something to increase the, you know, the prettiness of this, we can. Actually, this is a really nice spot. I actually like it. But uh, there you go. Watch out for those. They hurt you. And there you go. Later on, you know, if you need to fix something or change it, you can do it. Um, but there you go. That's how you add in an item from another um, save to another. Once again, highlight it. Highlight all the parts of it. Right click it. Go add composition. Open up a, um, a, an empty world, basically. A new world. Clean it up. Do whatever you're going to do to, to you know, tweak it. Make it look all nice and all that stuff. And then uh, save it over the original. And then bring it into your save. And there you go. Don't forget to save as as the name of the file. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.